So do you like conflict in your life? Do you like, you know, being out of a comfort zone? None of us do. It's tough. We don't like that. We seek comfort. We all like to be comfortable. But here's the deal with that. Quite honestly, it's not a good place to be. It's a great place to seek to be. It's a great place to get to at some point. But if you truly want to grow, if you truly want to improve, you've got to get out of your comfort zone. Last week, I talked about the importance of change and the concept of change being inevitable, growth being optional. You've all probably heard that quote before. But today, I want to take it a step further because the way we grow is through discomfort truly is. You know, I mean, think about where you're most comfortable in the world. Just think of an, Im an image of where that might be. Probably sitting on a couch, watching TV, chilling out, sitting in a lounge chair, whatever it might be, side of a pool. You're comfortable. You're relaxed. That's a great feeling. And we need those moments, absolutely. But if we live in those moments and we stay in those moments too long, we're not going to grow. In fact, we're going to stagnate and everybody else is going to grow past us. Now, I've said we don't want to compare ourselves with others. Well, to some degree, there is element. There are elements where it's good to kind of see, OK, that person's doing something, putting himself or herself on a certain traje trajectory. Why am I not? Right? And so that's a place where you can, you know, the comparison thing can help you because it can fuel a fire of, oh, okay, I want to get better at something. I better start doing whatever it might be. But the concept of growth, right, coming through discomfort is really the key here. Because if you want to improve at something, you can't just be sitting around, staying comfortable, being comfortable with whatever has happened, all right, or whatever is happening. You have to get out of that comfort zone, and you have to push yourself into discomfort. Think about the concept of working out, all right, weightlifting, weight training, strength training. The only way that you're going to grow your muscles is by making them uncomfortable. You break them, when you lift weights, you are literally tearing apart the fibers in your muscles. And then the growth comes, I'm not going to say in the comfort part, but in the part where you're resting. Okay, that's when it grows. That growth wouldn't happen if you didn't go out and go through the discomfort of the actual training. And the same goes with anything for us. Whether it's we're training our mind, training our spirit, training our, our uh, you know, relationships, whatever it might be. So I want to be the best teacher. I want to be the best coach I can be. I have to get out of my comfort zone. Right? Now, how do I do that? Well, there's a variety of ways. Of course, um, I talk about reading all of the time. It's one of the great things that you can do to help you be a better person and a better version of yourself. And so one of the Great ways to grow is through reading, and yet a lot of you don't like to read. A lot of you find discomfort in reading. And I've always told coaches and teachers, teachers a lot of times are okay with it. I've known my share of coaches who just don't want to read. You've got to find a way to read. Right? So one comfortable way to read, by the way, is, as I've said before, audiobooks. Pop in your, you know, your headphones, got mine right here. Pop those in while you're working out, while you're working in the yard, while you're driving, whatever. You know, listen to a book, listen to some books. So you're getting some of that same value. Yes, it's not the exact same thing as reading, but it's a great way to do it. The Chirp app that I use is one great way to get cheap books online, but you can do Audible or Find Away Voices. There's a variety of them out there. So reading might stretch your comfort a little bit, but it's how you'll grow. Watching videos like this, not mine necessarily, but well, I'm glad you're watching mine, but watch other videos. YouTube, co look for coaches, look for leaders, okay? TED Talks, all right? Uh, podcasts, a great thing. Now, those aren't necessarily stretching you in terms of lack of comfort, discomfort, but they'll stretch you in terms of what they tell you and you might go, oh, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if I like that idea. Okay, that's good. Challenge yourself, right? But push yourself in new directions. Go to clinics. Go ask other coaches if you can come watch them, their practices. There's all kinds of things that you can do to try to grow, to try to improve, to try to get better. 
but it's not gonna happen just sitting on your couch. It's not gonna happen just staying within your comfort zone. You have to get out. And here's the next thing, you want your teams to improve. Well, the only way that's gonna happen is for you to do the same for them. But here's a key, I think. Help your kids understand this same premise, that you are pushing them out of comfort zones because it's the only way they will grow. Use the analogy that I just used about you know, training your muscles, strength training, and let them know the only way we're going to get better is if you step out of your comfort zone. So when, I, when we teach a move, I'm a basketball coach, when we teach a certain move, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to fail at this, you know, guys, girls, you're going to fail at this. Right? The more that you can get through that failure, understand that's okay. Those are, as, as one of my good friends who I coached with here in town, John Willard used to say, those are good learns, okay? Learn through that, work through that, okay? So the more you can help your kids understand that mistakes are okay, the better chance they have of growing through them. But it's up to you to build the faith and the trust with your players that they're okay making mistakes in front of you. If you're constantly yelling at them about mistakes that they made at full effort and full attention, full, you know, added, good attitude, then you're not gonna, they're not gonna, you know, be able to work through those mistakes. So you have to build that confidence in them, that trust them. Those are whole other sets of videos to do. But you have to do what you can to help them get through that and to make those mistakes and grow by putting themselves out there, by challenging themselves and go, getting into discomfort to then grow through it and get to a point where, oh, okay, I'm comfortable with this move now. Okay, great. Now let's try another one. And now here they go, oh, I gotta try, yeah. Because how good do you want to be? And as I said in that blog post, don't you want to get better? I would use that line all the time. I do use that line with my, my kids. Don't you want to get better? And how good do you want to be? How great do you want to be? Well, if you want to be great, you have to put yourself through great discomfort to become the best you're capable of becoming. So change is a great thing. And so are, this, are these concepts of discomfort and fighting through and getting out of your comfort zone. So. Uh, hope you like this concept. Spread this one around. Work on this. I think I'll, I'm going to keep growing. I hope I keep growing, but I think I'm going to keep going uh, to through some more things on this concept uh, over the next video, two videos, whatever, because I got some other ideas that I want to talk about with it too. Maybe I'll tie it into the concept of confidence too, because uh, those are some things I've wanted to talk about. Anyway, we'll see what uh, next week has for you. Talk to you then.